Hi everybody, uh, my name's Andrew Allen Matthews, you can call me Andy. Now I'm producing short videos uh, promoting Manchester and Salford using my arts. Now this painting is called Exchange Bus Depot in the Rain. Uh, I like this scene in Manchester and I used to walk and cycle past here every day on the way to and from work when I lived in Salford. And I like the rich history and heritage of the area. Now I love the architecture and views all around Manchester which are steeped in history. So this area has lots of history. Uh, the Exchange bus, bus Depot in the rain is a day scene of a typical rainy day in Manchester. It was painted using acrylic, oil pastel and ink and was one of my early attempts at the croquet method style. Now it's the scene of the original bus depot that was used for many years by GM buses where my dad worked for many years as a bus driver and he used to drive into the, the bus depot on many occasions and was, it was a bustling area and link between Salford and Manchester. So the viewers look onto the CIS Tower, Irvis Building, Manchester Cathedral, the Arndale Centre and the River Irwell passes by underneath all the architecture and roads. Now, um, so that's that one, I like that scene. Um, Quite a nice scene of the cathedral looking onto that as well. So, just going to get my next painting now for you. Okay, um, so my next painting is called Exchange Bus Depot Modernised by Night. And it's a night scene of this same area but which has now been redeveloped as a pedestrianised linkway between Salford and Manchester. And has tall stainless steel architecture columns um, and a modern water fountain has improved the area surrounding this. Uh, so Manchester is becoming modernised um, with lots of areas being renovated and helps to improve Manchester as one of the leading cities of modern England. So I've had many a good night out in Manchester I love the nightlife and pubs and clubs. And Deansgate, which is close by, has lots of great nightlife as well, and lots of pubs and clubs and restaurants to eat in. And I usually go to Weatherspoons in Piccadilly with my mate Mark um, Edgerton, and we put the world to rights, and often talking nonsense and having a laugh and a joke about life in general. Uh, after that, I go grab some chips on the way home, jumping on the night bus to go home, <laughs> stumbling home, getting completely drunk. Um, so, a bit of history about me. I used to work in the textile industry as a commercial design separation artist and uh, reproduce designs for the furnishing and fashion industry for a decade. Now, I reproduce designs for Liberty Designs, Sanderson's, ABC Batik and all the major high street brands in the UK. I enjoyed this career but it didn't allow me to express my art in my style and I've developed my art over many years. So in the past I used to do detailed art and was not a relaxing way to paint and you had to be careful in placing every mark on paper and be accurate to within a hairline brush stroke. So the way I paint now is using a free flowing movement using part knife, brush and ink using my croquet method to give movement to the characters in the scene giving the freedom to express my art in my way. Um, so some characters on there you can see as well. Um, so the way I paint now is relaxing and enjoyable. So I've got inspiration from Ernest Lowry's characters and I put a modern twist on Manchester, Salford, London and beyond today. Now the paintings I produce are pleasing to the eye, look good on a wall and would adorn any home or business. So I'll be doing more videos of my paintings with a bit of history of the areas in the paintings. So if you ever get the chance to visit Manchester, this is one of the histor historic areas of Manchester. And in my opinion, Manchester is a great place to visit and with a friendly bunch of people. So all my paintings and t-shirts are available for sale on my website, andrewallenmatthews.co.uk and iGallery.co.uk. So check it out. Thanks for watching my video. And be positive, guys, and have a good day. Thank you.